We know that the human species began in Africa. And everybody who populates everywhere else in the world came out of Africa to do that. What that tells you is that the genetic diversity within Africa as the origin of our species is greater than it is between any other two people anywhere else in the world. You, a lot of these groups don't even want to be fooling with us like that. They, oh, they want to get involved with our culture. They want to come into our culture. They want to get involved with hip hop, get involved with all kinds of things as part of our culture, make money and everything, right? Oh, we all black, we all black. When you're trying to get into something that we got going on, but you really don't want to fool with us like that. And if you think calling yourself Dominican is going to protect you from white supremacy, it's not. It's not. Hello, welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. The white supremacists have your country the way it is right now. It's the white supremacists that have done that to your country. The reason why you had to come over here because it's not working out well for you is because of the white supremacists and what they have done. We got some for that. Burning some candles ain't gonna work on Hey, don't call me. Okay? I am black. I'm Dominican. What? <laughs> Everybody up in here black, man. We all come from Africa. Your ass just got dropped off in Haiti. Hey, all. I'm not from fucking Haiti, okay? I thought you were from the Dominican Republic. That is Haiti. Damn, what you think? The fucking white man couldn't beat the Haitians, so he divided the island in half and left one side Haiti? Hmm? That's the original name from the Taino Indians. Mm hmm? And the other side was Hispaniola, which became the Dominican Republic. And then this stupid. You know what? F you, I so. What? You know it's true. Yeah. Before we dive in, I start breaking it down. I need your help. Take a second to subscribe. Some of you guys already know my YouTube channel is new. I started it four months ago and I'm trying to grow it. So please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. Help me by sharing this video and also by commenting, okay? Everybody say they different. Everybody say they, they, they own ethnic group. I'm not them, X, Y, Z. Yes, I understand that. I understand that completely. Do I believe in unifying black people globally? Sure, I believe in that, but I'm not a dummy. I know the I know the majority of the, of the black world, you know, is not on that. But I'm not looking to unify the majority. I'm looking to unify with people that want to unify with me. That's how I always say that. I even say that about Black America. I don't want to unify with people that want to unify with me. If there's an on cold brother and sister that's Dominican, or, you know, or something like that, I unify with them all day long. The ones that can't stand black folk or trying to, you know, raccoon in front of them folks, you know, I don't want nothing to do with them. Cause you know, I have a few of them that try to troll. You don't like Dominicans. Dominicans haven't done me a thing. I haven't really been around too many Dominicans really, to be honest with you growing up. And sometimes I think I've been around Dominicans is when I went to New York. Cause down here in Texas, Dominicans ain't, ain't not down here like that. Just to be real with you, they're not. This video is not to attack or to make Dominicans look bad, okay? This is just to point out and highlight the anti-blackness that's going on all over the world. You have Africans disliking and hating black Americans. Then you got black Americans hating Africans. You know, black Americans like uh, Tyreek Nasheed. And who, who, who is winning? Other groups, that's who's winning. While we all black, not just blacks in America, but blacks all over the world, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in, in, in Brazil, in Cuba, in Mexico, in Italy. We need to accept who we are and start coming together. We need to stop allowing the images that Hollywood 
have been pushing for over 75 years. We need to understand those were images. They went to Africa and told Africans, don't mess with black Americans. They are lazy. They are violent. They are this. They are that. And then they came over here and told black Americans, don't, don't mess with Africans. They are this. They are poor. They are this. They are this. They are th you understand what I'm saying? They got us fighting each other. For what? Coming from my lineage, see, see, we, we, we didn't have a choice to opt out. You understand? We had to fight. We had to stand. We had to, to go toe to toe with the white supremacists. We had to die. We had to bleed. We had to hang from trees. We had to get shot. We had to get burnt up. We had to get everything. We could not opt out of being black. I just don't respect that. I'm sorry. You can get mad if you want. I don't respect that trying to opt out business. I ain't black. I'm Dominican. I don't respect that, man. Because you don't want to get treated like black folk. To me, that's cowardice. I don't care what you say. Get mad. Re retweet it. Whatever you want to say. I don't respect it. That's, that's, that's weak to me. Stand up, and, stand up and fight. That's what you do. You come over here to America. You know you're in the land of the white supremacists. Take a stand and fight. Don't sit up here and try to color your hair and, and, and do all kind of stuff to make them folks they think you, oh, see, I'm not like them. But but it, but see, that's why people don't like us because see, we, we never had a chance to opt out of blackness. We never had the chance. Everywhere we go, everybody know who we are. So it's not that me not liking you, it's just the fact is I just don't respect cowardice. Sorry, I don't respect it. Now, if you're a Dominican person, say I'm black, I rock black, X, Y, Z, hey, then I can respect that. But if you all is, I'm no black, I'm no black, I'm Dominican. Okay, what, what this, you have a Dominican woman that's just said why y'all have done that. It's because y'all opted out. And for those that would say, well, race only exists, you know, it's only in America that people see race. That's nonsense. That is nonsense. Any country you go to, look at how they treat their dark-skinned people. Go to Italy, go to Australia, go to Canada, go to London, go to India and see how Indians treat their own people that are dark-skinned. Go to Asia, go to China, go to Japan, see how they treat their own people that are dark-skinned. They, they see all of us, whether you know, whether you claim you're not, you're not black, you're Dominican, you're not black, you're Cuban, you're not black, you're Colombian, you're not black, you're Nigerian. You, I don't give a damn what you claim. Guess what? When you come over to America, you are a nigga. You are a nigga. Irrelevant to where you come from. They don't give a damn, my brothers and sisters. So let's, let's stop it. Let's stop this foolishness, okay? Let's stop this foolishness. Because when they pull you over, they don't give a damn. They don't ask you, are you Nigerian? They don't ask you, are you Colombian? All they say is, an, is the N word. That will wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to, okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on an endless episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed, okay? God bless.